What's up guys, today we have a new epic video. <coughs> today we're talking about what if the last Gargant show was made from Sandit and Gary's remains. So, and what if Godzilla folded it? Personally, I'm going to call this new Gargant show Volcan. And, well, it's going to be really powerful. It's a new red Gargant show that every few hours, due to its volcanic, she is going through a meltdown like being in Godzilla. So in a way this is a being in Gargantua and it's prone to having meltdown. If the military doesn't freeze it whilst it's gonna die and they don't come up with a new weapon to stop it, then the whole world may be in with it, including Godzilla. And Godzilla is also aware of this and because of this he's gonna lure the Gargantua some way. Can Godzilla defeat the Gargantra? Time to find out. By the way, like and subscribe. The last video was successful, so it really does help a lot. So thanks. Now, without a doubt, let's get into it. It was two years after the death of Sandit and Gairi due to the presence of a huge volcano. After the sea was sunk down, on the strange volcanic so without a doubt, activity let's that get and because of that, Godzilla and humanity so the story begins again with really Dr. That, Aki it's been a uh, year since uh, Sandit and Gary were some great organic shit and fire and war and both of them were eaten alive by both the investigating the what was happening a volcano and and in the fact that all ranchers this volcano swallowed the duo and because of my cell present for over a year now it As it no turns out, that and the gargantuas were seized. fine. However, flashback. Godzilla's skin weird. actually got shipped, and, and they ended up ripping off a chunk of Gary's skin. These two skin particles then were forced to combine and created Volcan, a huge new gargantuan that was now 40 metres tall and weighed 20,000 metric tonnes. And Volcan... <coughs> When Vulcan finally returned on the mainland, Akemi thought that this creature, it was Sander, but much larger. He had now grown to adulthood instead of adolescence. But this was far from the truth. As soon as Sander supposedly started to attack the mainland, they knew that this creature was more Gyra than Sander. Because of this, this creature would have somewhat of a split personality. Half of it was good and half of it was evil. And it couldn't control evil outbeats that caused it to wreck cities. When the military learned of this, about this, they ended up feeling a bit sympathetic for the Gargantua. Because it was more gyre than Sander, 50, like 60 to 70% of it was pure evil. The rest was unknowing of its mistakes. <coughs> Almost exactly like Gap, like Sandy used to be. Every time its mental breakdown would like end, however, when it would notice what it's done, it would feel horrible for what it's caused, only to almost immediately turn back to its evil rampage and kind of force itself to get a move on and destroy more cities. Eventually, yeah, attracting the attention of Earth's strongest protector, Godzilla. Godzilla arose on the surface after being followed by a group of whales. Godzilla would then arrive on the surface. We met the huge Gargantua in one of its mental rampages. This mental rampage was said to last two more hours, like all of them did. So Godzilla would now have two hours to fight a pure evil giant gargantua. Dr. Akemi and Paul Stewart looked up as they, as they got to view it. Then they told them that, that, if the that the military should send out an entire division of Maisie cannons as they were the ones to damage which Sander and Gyre back when they were having their rampages. Of course, Tokyo. Anyway, Godzilla then became somewhat of a threat, even though he was Earth's protector at the time. And we knew that if Godzilla blew this thing to smithereens, 
then the entire thing will become more many long gargantuas. And then one final fact was something about the giant new gargantua. And you know what that is? The fact that it could have a, a meltdown, which is where its skin becomes overcome by radiation and heat from the volcano it was born in. That it could explode and take the entire world with it almost at any time if it gets too overwhelmed. Luckily, the Gargantua wasn't too overwhelmed by Godzilla's presence, but on three different occasions during the battle, he looked like he was going to think to explode. Not a pinata. After Godzilla somehow became aware of this, after sensing that it was in this Gargantua's blood, he then became a lot more cautious and tried to kill this Gargantua almost instantly. He knew that his atomic breath wouldn't wait, so hand-to-hand brawling was no use either. Godzilla wasn't quite good at that, but King Kong was. But King Kong was dead now. He was gone. And because there were no King Kongs out there, or other Gargantuas, like Sander, there was nothing but, but a weakened Godzilla to stop his rampage. And Godzilla, without his strongest power, his atomic breath, he had no other known abilities and was forced to quickly retreat. The Gargantua then even grew in size. It was learned that this creature was growing largely by the second. And now it grew from 40 to 50 meters almost immediately after its battle with Godzilla. Now it was the same height as the king of the monsters and was only said to grow largely in the next eight days by 20 meters. All military attempts were set to stop it. Maisie cannons were shot at it, only to realise that this was overheating the creature as well. Then the, the military devised a plan. They would proceed to lure this Gargantua to the Antarctic, where it would freeze and cool the Gargantua down into a giant freezing Gargantua. But Godzilla ended up showing up, screwing up the entire plan. The military decided to war Godzilla and Gargantua. Gargantua was attracted by the bright lights alongside Godzilla. Feeling that Kaiji, like Godzilla and Anguirus in Reeds again, were attracted to light after a brief military experiment on Godzilla and Anguirus themselves. Godzilla would be lured by the bright lights and stop fighting entirely with the Gargantua. Lord, all the way after three hours he's by the military, but the duo would now be in Antarctica for the final, second, third battle between Godzilla and the Gargantua would occur, one in, on land in Tokyo, one in the oceans from Tokyo all the way to Antarctica, and one on land and somewhat in the water in Antarctica. The Gargantua started to rapidly grow, but also cooled down. Now the huge creature was 60 meters tall, 10 meters taller than Godzilla. And because of this, Godzilla was forced to take extra caution. However, now oh, the Gargantua had a lot of weakness due to the cold, which is the opposite of his regular temperature. Because of that, Godzilla would stop attacking it with his atomic breath. Instead, it would allow him to follow him. And then, the Gargantua suddenly grew to another 10 meters. It was now 70 meters, 20 meters taller than Godzilla, but was starting to freeze over. Then, the military realized it was transforming from a meltdown kaiju to a cool kaiju and was still growing rapidly larger. Godzilla knew this and started again firing his atomic breath, finally, after a lot of time. Godzilla was firing it and because of this in such a quick time period, the kaiju started to overheat again, but with the mixture of cold and, and warmness in its blood, this heat creature became confused and started to to change. It was, it was going to blow up again. 
But then Godzilla realised that it was just overwhelmed and it would not nearly be as dangerous if this kaiju was overheating than overcooling. And it would just cause a global iceberg. Godzilla and all the other kaiju didn't want this, but this is what it came to. Godzilla then sent three last atomic breaths and blew the kaiju to smithereens, but he wasn't good. done. He would then beam the remain remaining body parts of the Gargantua. This time, there was no chance of the Gargantua ever re regenerating to become a thousand or just two different huge Gargantuas. And that was the death of Volcan, the last Gargantua in the very hands of Godzilla. Of course, this is a, a fan story like the last one, we Godzilla met. The Redosaurus in Godzilla Reads again alongside Anguirus as well. Hopefully you enjoyed and please like and subscribe. It really helps out the channel a lot. But if this kaiju was real, Volcan, the one I made up, what, what would you think would happen if it ended up melting down like Greening Godzilla did? Also, I hope you really enjoyed this video, it took a while, I had to delete the entire thing twice, so uh, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed, uh, I've really worked hard on this, and goodbye, see you, have a good day.